Hi everyone, in this video we're going to calculate the limit shown on the screen. Now you might think this would be easy using L'Hopital's rule, but could you do it without using L'Hopital? That's what we're going to do here. Let's discover the maths. First of all, for continuity of the function, since it's a quotient with polynomials and roots, if all went well, the limit would coincide with the image. But when we put x equal to 1, we get 0 over 0, which is indeterminate. So we can't get the limit from it. We need a different approach. And as I said, we're not going to use L'Hopital's rule. What we'll do is factor and simplify. But how? The problem is the cube root. So let's call that t. Since x tends to 1, we'll look at x equals 1, then put t equal to the cube root of 1, which is 1. Now, if t equals the cube root of x, we have that x is t cubed. So we'll substitute for x in the denominator. x minus 1 becomes t cubed minus 1. Now let's factor this polynomial. And for this, we can use Ruffini's rule. As t equals 1, here's the procedure. And note that we can factor t cubed minus 1 as t minus 1 times t squared plus t plus 1. So we substitute t for the cube root of 1 and we get an expression for x minus 1. If we now substitute this expression in the limit, then we can simplify the top and bottom. For continuity, we simply substitute x equals 1. And we find that the limit is 1 over 3. Fantastic. So, now you know an alternative to using L'Hopital's rule to calculate limits corresponding to the indeterminacy 0 over 0 with roots and a change of variable, plus a little thought, which is always a good idea in mathematics. I hope you found this useful. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you again very soon to discover more maths.